Welcome to the latest news channel. Vladimir Putin has been labeled desperate after he authorized over 100 new laws in just one day, including the creation of a Hitler-esque youth group, reports state. While the Kremlin is busy fighting a physical war in Ukraine, back home it is also continuing its war against the internet and so-called foreign influences. Some of the laws which were authorized by the Russian president were directly in connection to situations brought up by the war in Ukraine. One law was introduced to directly combat the issue of further or future sanctions being imposed on Russia and Russian oligarchs by passing a bill to classify Russia's foreign currency reserves. The bill now makes the size and worth of Russia's gold and foreign currency reserves a state secret to make it more challenging to enforce sanctions. Since the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine in February, the West has implemented enough sanctions to freeze approximately £250 billion of Russia's foreign reserves. Some of the laws were also used to crack down on foreign influence and therefore on desertion of the Kremlin and Russia. The foreign agents law means authorities in Russia can label those they consider under foreign influence as a foreign agent even in the absence of any evidence of foreign funding. It is rather vague as to what foreign influence means but those who are considered foreign agents cannot teach at state and municipal schools, receive government funding for creative projects or sell services and goods to the state. Equally the law has now ruled that those who defect from Russia in an armed conflict will be seen as treasonous which carries a punishment of 12 to 20 years in a prison colony. In an effort to prevent such defection and desertion of Russian and the Kremlin's regime, Putin also passed a new law allowing the attorney general to ban foreign news media outlets following hostile action against Russian media abroad. The Attorney General can also cancel media licenses for broadcasting publicly significant information which is seen as illegal or dangerous, or information expressing clear disrespect for the state. Journalists can be held personally liable for circulating information which discredits the use of the Russian army or calls for protests. Subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates.